Computer monitors have traditionally, for decades back, been a rather static product category in terms of technical innovation and perhaps of all IT products, the most resistant to change. This is especially true for models intended for work and productivity, which sometimes give us the impression that they do not change at all and that ones from a decade ago do not differ too much in terms of characteristics and appearance from the new models. It's just that uh, if you already have a monitor that works, features that would make you think about buying a new one were very rare, especially outside of the highest price range. However, in the last few years, things seem to not only be moving from a standstill, but monitors are rapidly being modernized in numerous parameters. As expected, this is most noticeable in the gaming domain, where the new technologies and features are the most beneficial for users, but also where the audience, let's be realistic, is more inclined to pay for a better shiny new thing more often. However, it seems that after a few years of accelerated progress in the gaming domain, things have started to spill over into other segments, so even those who are not interested in gaming, or at least not primarily, will be able to enjoy the benefits brought by technological progress. And it is precisely the model that we present to you today that is an excellent example of positive changes in the field of monitors intended for the office, productivity, content creation and design. Dell 2724DE belongs to this brand's well-known and highly regarded Ultra Sharp series. In fact, this monitor is the successor of the model that we use every day in our office, the U2721DE, from a few years back. So this was a good opportunity to see what has changed during this time and what kind of monitor you get today in the same series compared to the one from three years ago. We'll say right away, the improvement is much more significant than we honestly expected, but let's start from the beginning. First of all, when it comes to design, the Dell 2724DE has some things in common with its predecessor, although this is perhaps the only domain in which it did not impress us as much as the 2721DE. The older model at the time of its release was the first one we saw with a very modernized design, thin panel and edges, and left an extremely good impression in terms of looks and ergonomics. The new 2724D is not as thin, but it is still a very nicely designed monitor. The reason for the thicker profile lies in the significantly greater complexity and capabilities of the new model, which is why there is also a ventilation slot around the sides of the panel, which extends almost along the entire perimeter. Instead of the carbon gray black combination of the predecessor, the new model comes in a silver gray light gray variant that looks great. The back of the panel, stand and base of the stand are covered in sandblasted textured plastic reminiscent of metal, while details such as the connector section at the bottom of the back of the panel, the part that connects the panel to the stand and cable routing slot are made light grey. The only thing that stands out from this design is the Dell logo in the middle of the upper back which has a polished metal look. The base of the stand is of moderate size and just like the rest of the stand it is internally reinforced with a metal structure that provides the necessary rigidity and stability. The new stand is relatively slim and elegant with a square cross section with rounded edges and fits well with the design. In terms of ergonomics, the stand allows the panel to be swiveled left and right by 45 degrees, tilted from 5 degrees forward to 21 degrees back, height adjusted in a range of 15 centimeters, as well as pivoted by 90 degrees in both directions. So a bit more flexible than on previous models. Viewed from the front, practically the only visible difference compared to the older model is the absence of Dell logo on the bottom edge of the panel. The panel frames are completely thin, so the margins of about 5mm around the part of the panel that displays the image are actually the only thing that surrounds the content you're viewing. Speaking of the frame, the new model has omitted the two USB connectors on the side of the panel, but they are now placed under the lower left edge, so you get one USB-A and one USB-C port for easy access. We might have preferred that they stayed on the side, but it's commendable that the housing around the connector is shaped to practically guide the cable to the right place and make the connectors easy to locate. All the other connectors are in the usual place on the bottom of the back of the panel, and their selection is very rich and represents a significant improvement, especially for a certain group of users. 
For connecting display sources, there's an HDMI in version 2.1, DisplayPort in version 1.4, as well as Thunderbolt 4 with DP Alt mode, which also works well with USB 3 sources with display capabilities. It should be noted that there is also a DisplayPort input, since the monitor also supports multi-transport streaming, so that you can connect several monitors to a computer with one cable, like a daisy chain. Also, there is an option to display picture-in-picture picture or picture-by-picture picture from two different sources. The mentioned Thunderbolt 4 is present with two Gen 2 10 gigabit per second ports, one of which is the mentioned upstream that is used for example connecting a laptop to a display with a single cable while simultaneously charging up to 90 watts. The second port is downstream used for connecting peripherals or charging external devices with up to 15 watts. In addition to Thunderbolt 4 ports, there are also USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, again with 10 gigabit per second support, specifically one Type-C upstream port for connecting to a computer, one Type-C downstream port for connecting peripherals and four more such ports but with USB-A connectors. So, USB ports galore. You also get a 3.5mm output for headphones, as well as 2.5 gigabit LAN port that will forward the network connection to connected computers via USB or Thunderbolt connection. In fact, in this case, Thunderbolt 4 and USB are two different connections that you can use for two computers, because Dell 2724DE is also equipped with a KVN switch that allows you to switch one set of peripherals and a LAN connection between two computers with automatic display source switching. For this purpose, Dell has also implemented a guide in the menu that will make it easier for you to set everything up initially. Peripheral sharing is possible via USB, but also via network, and interestingly, it is also possible to share files between computers via KVM. To set this up and make adjustments, you can use Dell Display Manager software, in which you can also change all supported parameters, including the display settings, sources, screen splitting, as well as assign display modes separately for each application. Speaking of controls, Dell has finally given up on separate buttons under the panel and allowed users to control the menu via a mini joystick located behind the bottom right edge of the panel. This method makes the navigation through the menu significantly easier and makes control more precise and reliable. As for the menu, it is very simple and clear, with items grouped into sections. Pressing the joystick button will also display a quick menu with user-configured items, which can make your workflow much easier if you often need to access one of the features or menu sections. Where we were probably most pleasantly surprised by this model is the display quality, although we didn't expect too much change in that regard. The Dell 2724D is seemingly a relatively common model in its class, with an IPS panel QHD resolution and a 27-inch size, just like the older 2721D. However, compared to its predecessor, this monitor brings some significant improvements. The main one is the use of LG's panel with IPS Black technology, which is perhaps the most significant IPS improvement we've seen so far. It is a technology that enables more efficient control of light flow through the liquid crystal, and therefore a lower black level and better reproduction of low light colors. The result of this is an absolutely impressive static contrast for an IPS panel, which in this case we measured at 200. 20 to 1. The contrast is pretty consistent in all image modes, with a black level of 0.058 nits, which is practically in the range of what we see on VA models. We got the impression that the viewing angles are not quite as perfect as on regular IPS, but they still have a fairly wide sweet spot, so you will have a sufficient range of movement in a normal working position without any change in contrast or color display. IPS glow is still present and moderate, although in complete darkness it looks a little different than on regular IPS models. Backlight uniformity is quite decent. Most of the factory picture modes are calibrated to around 120 nits of brightness, which is ok for working in SDR and sRGB, although the monitor is able to deliver a maximum of 345.2 nits according to our measurements. At maximum brightness, the display is very vivid with rich colors, and this is also confirmed by our gamut measurement, which showed that Dell 2724D is able to cover about 93.8% of DCI-P3 spectrum, which is very important. Impressive. With this figure, you can already guess that this is a 10-bit panel, specifically 8-bit plus FRC, which is another improvement over its predecessor. 
As for the factory display modes, you get the usual standard movie, game and custom that you can adjust to taste, as well as color space modes for different gamuts such as sRGB, BT709, DisplayP3 and DCI-P3. They'll both say factory calibration with a delta E deviation of less than 2 in all mentioned modes and provides a detailed calibration report in the box. According to our measurements, the best delta E deviation is in Rec 709 mode with an impressive 1.7, while the others were not quite at the rated level. Not surprising given the differences in the measurement conditions at the factory and in our studio. After all, for professional use, calibration is recommended monthly precisely because of variations in temperature, humidity and other parameters that can affect the panel. Aware of this, with this model, Dell also gives users its own Dell color management calibration software developed in cooperation with Kalman, which is a very valuable package that in the Kalman version can cost as much as the monitor itself. As I had the opportunity to use most solutions of this type, I must say that the Dell software is probably the simplest of all to use, logical even for complete beginners, and yet it supports color management and creating profiles for all supported gamuts. Absolutely brilliant idea, execution and user value. The white color gamut that the monitor is able to display, the high contrast, as well as the aforementioned calibration software, recommend the Dell 2724D as a serious tool for design content creation and any color critical professional work. And as a package, I like this more than the other similar solutions and professional rated consumer monitors that I had the opportunity to see, at least in the realm of IPS. Speaking of the image, it is worth mentioning that the monitor is also equipped with an ambient light sensor, so it can automatically adjust the brightness and colors to the conditions in the room. This feature is not a good idea for those who care about the accuracy of the display, but it is for those who clock in long hours at the computer and want a display that is more pleasant to look at regardless of the amount of light and the time of day. The brightness adjustment works well, but we can't say the same for color warmth adjustment, as the sensor occasionally made the image quite red for a brief moment. We assume that uh, this is something that can be fixed with a firmware update. Of course, both of these options you can switch on or off. Speaking of the environment, the screen of this model comes with an anti-glare coating, which is fairly effective in reducing reflections. As for the resolution, 2560 by 1440 pixels is optimal for a 27-inch screen, so the image is clear and sharp with a nice amount of workspace with the interface scaling at 100%. What pleasantly surprised us was the 120Hz refresh rate, which we rarely see outside of models intended for gaming, but is also welcome for work and general use due to the smoother display. The interface and the movement of elements on the screen are visibly smoother compared to 60Hz, so it is very easy to get used to. Actually, you will notice the difference even easier if you return to a lower refresh rate. In addition, 120Hz gives this model enough flexibility for gaming, so if you are someone who mainly uses a monitor for work, but also likes to play some games, the Dell 2724DE will do very well in that role as well. The response of the panel is at the level of what we expect from a 120Hz IPS and is quite decent for playing even faster FPS games. Although you won't find an option in the menu, variable refresh rate is supported, so even owners of Nvidia graphics cards, despite the lack of official support, will be able to turn on G-Sync and enjoy a smooth display that adjusts the refresh rate to the current frame rate. All in all, we can say that we are very impressed with what the Dell 2724DE has to offer. This is finally the boundary pushing work and general purpose monitor that we wanted for a long time. Optimal resolution and size, best aspects of IPS but with significantly higher contrast, excellent color display and 120Hz refresh rate, which extends its application to gaming. At the same time, with excellent software and an additional calibrator like the X-Rite i1, this model becomes an exceptional tool for everyone who cares about display precision and uses different color gamuts. Considering all the above, we think that the price of around $480 US is more than fair and that you get a lot for the money, especially if you are someone who will use all its advantages. Dell more than pleasantly surprised us with this model, so the 2724DE absolutely deserves our highly recommended award. Of course, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful, and if you did, please click a like and support what we do. You were watching Bench House, my name is Ivan, and I'll see you next time.